Austin, Texas, home to technological and cultural advances, but for everything going on in this city, the hub is bathed in burnt orange, and it is DKR and the Texas Longhorns. The calendar has been circled for both teams in this one. Two of college football's elite, ready to go head to head in a top five showdown. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Ohio State Buckeyes, taking on the third ranked team in the land, the Texas Longhorns. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. And the Buckeyes will get us underway with the opening kickoff. Texas. On the move from inside his own 20. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. So the Texas Longhorns offense will get the first possession of the game. And all eyes will be on this man because he is electrifying every time he touches the ball. I mean, so much fun to watch. Can hit home runs, can make big plays. Everything in this offense starts with that ball man. What I really like about him, too, is he's versatile, right? He can carry the rock, he can catch the football, he's good at blocking. This guy stays on the field for a reason. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll run it from the gun. And he's wrestled to the ground. Yeah, I wasn't sure if the offense was going to be able to dig themselves out of this hole, but on second in California, they dial up the running play, now setting up third and short. Opening drive of the game, and they're facing third and one. He ended up losing yardage on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. Third down, man. You'd think this offense would want to throw it down the field, at least past the sticks. But this defense and their athleticism and speed, they gobbled him up behind the line of scrimmage. He'll field the punt. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. So Ohio State's offense will try to get something going with their first possession. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Now the play fake. Got the quick pass. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. You know, we joke that the tight end's always open, David, but play action almost makes it impossible to keep them covered. And yeah, because those guys, they're such good blockers most of the time. They're big and physical, and they sell block for a second, and then they run open and they find holes in zones, or they get good matchups in man. Those tight ends nowadays are nightmares for defenses to try to stop. So the last thing you want to do is start the game, first drive, go three and out. They won't do that here. They might go four and out, but they'll try to convert here. The Buckeyes will move the sticks with the first down. In your own territory, fourth down, no problem at all. They just go for it again. What about you, Reese? Are you going for that? Yeah, man. You hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. The give to the left side. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, what a play by that defensive lineman. You, you could say he was channeling his inner power. And that's what defensive linemen do. Big, fast, one of the most athletic players on the field, getting in the backfield. Just beautiful. You know, you could have shown a little humility there and said, oh, shucks, or something. Oh, shucks, or something. That's a really nice throw. When you think about being the starting quarterback at the Ohio State University with all the great players they've had here recently, what this offense expects from you. This is explosive passing attack. You've seen that now in recent years. They push the ball vertically down the field. This guy has the skill set. That's why he's out there on the field right now. He allows this offense to really go, and he's playing at a high level. The Buckeyes are on the move. 
Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. They're looking for an advantage in the running game to the right. Just leaves him grabbing air as he gets down to the 35. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting him drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. He'll pitch it. And that might have been a bad read as the defense just swarms all over the pitch man. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive, if he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement of play. And the Buckeyes will call on their punt team. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. Here comes the Texas offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. It just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Making a play like that to open the drive can really get the momentum going. First down from the 43. Wide receiver shows motion. Grab behind the line. It's Bolden. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. Well, give the defense credit on that one because they knew coming into this one that they were going to try to get this receiver the ball in a variety of ways. They were ready for the screen there, and they create a negative play. From the gun, the ground game. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. The junior quarterback frustrated with himself after throwing it behind his man. Offenses know and work on it all week. Third downs, third downs. We got to be really, really good. This offense not good on this third down. It could come back to bite him. And the Longhorns will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Wants to return it. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back laddered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Hand off to the single back. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. It has been all defense all the time in the early going as we wrap up the first quarter, and the stats certainly reflect that. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. A third down play to get the quarter started. He'll do it himself. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. Got enough for the first down. And he's finally ushered out of bounds, but not before. He makes a good game. The Buckeyes have it with a first and ten. Motion from the offense. Running back searching for a hole. A 
they bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Everybody talks about DBs. They talk about dropping in coverage and not being physical. <laughs> that DB begs to differ. Great tackle coming up, playing physical like a linebacker. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. To throw, it's Howard. Looking to the big tight end. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive game. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. Now down to the 12-yard line. It's first down. On the run, it's Judkins. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. And as an offensive coordinator, you don't need the perfect play with this guy as your running back. He's going to make the play perfect for you because he makes everybody miss. Spin moves, hurdles, stiff arms, speed, whatever it takes. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Ohio State! Bringing the extra beef. It's goal line. I know what I'm going to get. I know what I'm going to do. We're going to be bigger, stronger at the point of attack and push you around. And then the running back does the rest and finds the end zone. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 7 0. A 69 yard touchdown drive and close the deal with a three yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Texas. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. And here comes the Texas offense back on the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. And on second down for this offense. Going with the ground game left. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. What a great play by the linebacker. Do you talk about filling a hole? Defensive line does their jobs. He comes in the hole and says, sit down, sir. And they fail to hook up on third down. The Longhorns will line up to punt it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. He'll field the punt and see what he can get. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. And you know the line they kick around at Ohio State, Woody Hayes, forward pass, two of the three things that can happen are bad. Woody had dudes like this. He'd be spinning that magic bean all over this place. You ain't lying. My, how times have changed. Now it is pass, pass, pass. Find explosive playmakers like this on the outside. Get them the football. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Tackled after picking up the first down. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. The offense down to the 25 now, first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. With the catch, it's Tate. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. The Buckeyes racing to the line in the hurry up. Looking to throw on second down. Here comes the rush, and they've got him wrapped up at the 28. And I 
love playing man coverage on the back end. Giving those receivers faces. Don't let them feel comfortable and, and run zone where they can find all these holes in the zone and my rush can't get home. Pressure them, pressure them, pressure them. Can't get him to the ground. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Well, you can tell the QB, he drops back, and he wants to throw the football. He wants to push it downfield, try to get the first down. Couldn't do it. Nobody was open, couldn't find anybody, took off to scramble. Great job by the defense reacting to it, getting him on the ground, stopping him short of the first down. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. It's golden. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. So now the Longhorns take over, and they'll send out the offense. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a must score, but man, you look at the scoreboard. You're down two scores. Jesse, you got a good opportunity. Create some momentum. Cut it to a one-score game. This is an important possession. Yeah, it's important to create that momentum now, David, too, and not wait to get it going here at the start of the third quarter. You've got one drive here to get a couple of points. You've got to start erasing and chipping away at this deficit. This could be where the game turns right here. Looking for a man. It's Ewers. Going to take a shot. Fires into traffic and intercepted. Bringing it back. And after making the interception, he takes it inside the 40. You know, the best free safeties I ever played against were the ones that just have a sixth sense. It's like they know where the ball is going, and they can just bait the quarterback into trying to make throws that they never have a chance of making. That's what that guy did right there. He baited the QB into a bad decision and made him pay. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. A shot toward the end zone. And incomplete on the deep ball. And guys, if I'm on offense, I am staying aggressive. I know you didn't connect there, but make sure you keep testing this defense. Because even if you complete one of those throws, that could be the game-breaking play. No gain on first down after the incompletion. Now, second and ten from the 40. Right down the middle. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Pressure coming. Setting up the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Lots of good stuff on that play. You slow down the rush, you get a completion, and you move the chains. And most importantly, you're right, you don't force a short yarded situation that you have to. Unleashes one deep. Falls incomplete, and he did everything perfectly except catch the football. Second down cover. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Going back to the well, another deep ball. Oh, so close to paying off the tip drill. He had it in his hands, but it falls incomplete. Really nice play by the defender, being in a good position for that deep ball down the field, not letting the receiver put his big body on him, go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that thing tipped to another defender, and it was an interception, but great coverage by the defender. He's missed three in a row now with that last incompletion. I tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock him up man to man, everybody on an island, everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up. Offense set on first down. They'll leave it with him. 
good, solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33-yard line. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Back to throw, it's Ewers. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Oh, and it's a pick. He threw it right into the double coverage. Looking for more room. And with the interception, he'll take it all the way back. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Look, I know it's only the second quarter, but we're starting to see a pretty significant gap develop between these two teams right now. No doubt. When your defense is scoring, your offense is scoring, good things happening for your ball club. This defense on point, reading their scouting report, making big plays. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. So here comes the kickoff after the touchdown, and the last thing you need right before the half is to give up a big return. Ball bouncing all over the place and corralled around the 30. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, you've been calling a first-rate game so far from Austin today. And it's been a battle of wills between these two teams through two quarters. Bend, but don't break. They've managed to neutralize the explosive playmakers on each side by shutting down passing windows and providing tight coverage. Forget the Jimmies and Joes. This second half could really be about the X's and O's. And with that, let's get it back to our fellas at DKR. All right, Kevin about ready to get things cranked back up here. And the Longhorns will boot it away to start the second half. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. They had this lead to start the third quarter because of the passing game. Didn't get a lot done on the ground. They did, but the quarterback is in a rhythm. That was obvious in the first half. And so this first drive, you want to continue that. You want to see good decision-making. You want to see him playing on time. And as always, delivering the football. I mean, I don't know how I don't give him the football. It's the reason I built the lead. He's the guy that I can trust. This offense is built around him. So I expect more of the same here in the second half. It's Tate. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? No, he just lost yards on a screenplay. How does that happen? Wide out in motion. On the run, it's Henderson. On the move at the 30. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. And how about the third down run play? And this is an offense that they can do a lot of different things, so they make you guard the whole field, but you might want to start with that running back. And he makes the big play, gets the third down conversion, gets him a new set of downs. And the Buckeyes have it with a first and ten. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. To the ground, he's got it again. He's knocked down in the backfield, he'll lose a couple. It's amazing how play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum, not only of a series, but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line, because you know once you get one of those plays, you got the offense right where you are. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Looking to throw, it's Howard. Shoots it to the left. 
can't make the play on the interception. And man, they were looking for their first pick of the game. Instead, it'll be fourth down. The Buckeyes line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt hits at the eight and goes into the end zone for the touchback. So Texas has it again, and here comes the offense. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an info. And the heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. That type of pressure on the quarterback, that's vintage Ohio State, right in keeping with the legacy that's been established by the Buckeye D. Yeah, and you take pride in that. You own that legacy with all those guys you see performing at a high level in the NFL. Man, you see that, you want to go get it. Recruiting guys to fit those profiles, that's why Ohio State always has a good defensive line. Wide receiver coming across in motion. The RPO, fire complete to the left. Just slithered through the tackle when he's got room to run. And he's brought down after a huge completion. The Longhorns want to crank the tempo. How nice is it as a quarterback that you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. And the timing just a hair off. Well, the timing on that throw and on the route was just convoluted and messed up from the beginning. And you see quarterbacks and, and wide receivers in the offseason always working on timing and always working on throwing on air. But when you put a defense in front of them, now things start to speed up a little bit. A lot of times you'll see these little mistakes and where it looks like just they're not on the same page all the time. And this offense can still afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. They keep attacking through the air. Grabbed over the middle. It's held. And they gave him no chance to get loose, and they force a fourth down. So they're going to send out the field goal unit to try a long one. He says he's got a big leg. He's going to have to show it from 56 yards out. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together. Running game worked on first down. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. Looking downfield, it's Howard. Fires on the move. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. My job is to make sure that ball comes loose. And I got to go through that guy, use my shoulder pad, drive my feet, and really, really be physical. Because if he bobbles it at all, or as soon as his hand gets to the ball, you can tell the difference when that body jerks forward and that ball starts to come loose and pop out. They pick up the first down on the drag route. Good job by the receiver knowing it was man coverage. If he's looking, he's booking. He gave his quarterback the eyes right away that says, hey, I'm not stopping. Put it out in front of me. I'm getting this first down. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He's got an open man. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Well, really nice catch there getting the first down. This dude at wide receiver, man, he is a playmaker. You think about Ohio State and the recent run they've had on first-round picks at the position. Michael Thomas, Jackson Smith and Jigba, Garrett Wilson, Chris Olave. This guy keeps making plays like that. He's got an opportunity to go in the first round. Oh, and he drops it on the crossing route on first down. He knew that defense was bearing down on him. It'll be second down. He's looking to throw. That's caught. It's Smith. 
Well, the drag routes put in this playbook to fight against man-to-man -man coverage. So there you see the receiver using his speed, working his way across the field. He gets separation on the DB, trying to trail him, makes the catch, turns it upfield for the first. Fires to the right. Makes a connection. Right on the money with that throw. The defense was there, but they are in the red zone with a first down at the 12. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. They'll give it to the back. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Ohio State. Wow, this offense. They have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done, and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. So a drive there of 82 yards, and the scoring play came on the 12-yard run. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Set to advance on Texas. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. The give on the inside. There to make the stop, and we played three in this one. Well, guys, Ohio State has the lead here. They built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. We'll start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. Looking for a man. It's Ewers. He makes the connection. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can gen... Hit the afterburners, kid. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. The Longhorns come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Using his legs, it's Baxter. They'll get him on the ground after a pickup of three to the 28. Got three on first down at second and seven. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. And you got to do a better job up front right there. That run was doomed from the get-go. Nowhere to go. The back gets hit as soon as he gets the football. Hard to succeed as a running back when you get the ball and you get clubbed. And the third down pass is incomplete. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen... And he throws his third pick of the day. His head has to be spinning. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. And that's a really good job by the defense, understanding the situation of football. It's fourth down. It's late in the game. you got a multi-possession lead. Take away all the deep stuff. Make them force the football into coverage. They do, and they stamp this game. Looking for a deep man. And he makes the catch inside the 20. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. They are in no mood to show any mercy as they keep flexing their muscle on offense. Up big in the fourth quarter, and you just keep taking shots down the field. That tells you something, okay? You can take what you want from it, but this offense definitely not interested in running clock, interested in making a point. Pulls it in. It's Judkins. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. 
This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Got it behind the line. It's Smith. Touchdown, Buckeyes! And the route is on. There's no mercy rule in college football, man. They've got a huge lead here in the fourth quarter. They are still chucking it, and they are still scoring. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick strike offense on that three play scoring drive. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. The Longhorn sending the offense back onto the field. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you've got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. Gets it out quickly. Oh, there might have been trouble if they had knocked him down so quickly. I just got the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late, and they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. You've got to attack the sidelines. You've got to throw first down. You've got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. I did a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important that the defense is honest, and you can't just dink and dunk outside. You've got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver over the middle of the field. And they dialed up a shot play, but they couldn't make the connection. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. You've got a great game playing all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. You've got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open, because you've got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. Now on second down. The play-action fake. Going for it all. And it'll be intercepted in the end zone. And he's brought down after the pick, but not before putting his offense in business. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they've wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect him. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out, everybody right now, on the same page. Holds it in on the left. Well, this offense has just been dialing up explosive play after explosive play. That's a big part of why they have a huge lead at this point. Even in the fourth quarter with that lead, they are still taking shots. They are still being aggressive. Pedal to the metal. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Not the type of accuracy you typically see from this senior quarterback. The Buckeyes are in the hurry up. They'll run play action. Fires toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. 
and that's a good stop for this defense. And listen, there hasn't been a lot of positive today, but like, let's finish this game strong. I think that'll be the message from the defensive coordinator. Can we get a stop? Can, can we get them off the field? I know a lot's went wrong, but like, just live in this moment and try to be great right here to end the game. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the punt hits ground at the two and goes into the end zone. He just missed, pinning them right in the shadow of the goalpost. It'll come out to the 20. He'll come out throwing on first down. And that is his fifth interception, a nightmare he is not waking up from. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Heat up them pass rushers. Bringing them DBs. That's what I'm doing in this situation. When I got the lead by a couple scores late in the ball game in the fourth quarter, I'm going to rush the passer like crazy. I'm going to put all those DBs back and play in the pass. That's what happened. Great job understanding they're going to have to take shots. We get the interception. This one's almost done. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. The give and tick, 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 tick. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. And the defense down in this game, they just can't do anything to stop this offense at this point, David. Right now, they know they're going to be trying to run the football and try and ice the game, but there's nothing at this point it seems they can do. Yeah, and it's frustrating. I got to sell out, man. I got to bring as many guys to the line of scrimmage as I can. I got to find a way to get this ball back to my offense. The, the clock is not my friend, and them running the football is only going to run this thing out quicker. i got to find a way to make something happen, strip the football, do something. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. A third and long coming up here. And the offense is content with where it is. They'll take a knee. Well, this one had all the suspense of a bug hurtling his way toward a windshield, and they did splatter them, an absolutely dominating performance. you got to give the coaching staff a ton of credit. They obviously had their guys ready to play and motivated right from the opening kick. All three phases we saw, just spectacular football. No mental mistakes, David. You really can't play better than that. Nah, and it's, it's really fun to do this. Come out and just dominate opponents. Start from finish. Uh, nothing to worry about. You just know you're better. You're going to do you. Put up a bunch of points and win by a lot of points. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.